Hi, hello, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, December 22nd, 2023. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. All right, so uh, after the week end, I know that the week is ending, we are seeing how all the indices are really you know, reaching highs, new highs, and down. Um, will today be any different? Well, some of the macro data came out was positive. So let's see if the market will use that as fuel and rally. And let's say if we today we'll reach 17,100 at least. Um, but at least we we should revisit uh, the high that we made on 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 the 20th. And then as far as the S&P as well, uh, 4,800 was that that. Uh, Milestone has been already surpassed. Let's see if we propel and meet 20th high, and that high is around 48.30. Then Dow, Dow is kind of, it was pushing lower. It's kind of recuperating itself. Uh, let's see if at least it'll go back and come back up, up towards the 38,000. So let's see if that will happen today. Or will the news just impact, impact it so hard that that's that people will say it is the weekend it is friday so let's see what happens here's crude oil i'm looking at crude oil just to really stay idling now uh 75 dollars uh could be that moment uh that resistance but uh, at least at least uh 75. uh that gas is not trading lower 245 then we have gold. Gold has finally broken out of that above 2050. So now uh, we're looking for 2080. Uh, this has been really supportive uh, because not gold is a safe haven asset because of what's happening in the Red Canal, you know, the Red Sea, uh, the Houthis. So all of this uh, ordeal uh, has affected uh, some global trade. So we'll see. How much higher will gold end on today? At, at least I, I think it will reach 2080, 2080 at least. Uh, silver, uh, it had opened with a gap down. It, is, it closed it. So it reversed whatever selling pressure was being put on. So now we might can we anticipate that uh, the rally will continue. Well, let's see. Uh, this is one day candle. So you gotta go into a shorter time frame and see what the you know, price action is doing. Then we have copper. Copper has been making higher highs and higher lows, but not yesterday. So here's here's where you might say, okay, so the momentum has been lost uh, in in between the last two days, really. So will 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 he have enough? momentum to continue pushing higher well it did open with a gap down okay so let's see if it will sustain itself around these levels or will it just continue to trend lower now you got to look at a time frame the active price action look at the dollar index bitcoin okay so at 44 30 43 and a half so it's pushing lower now now will be towards the 43 5. then we have the currencies that are pushing higher let's see if the uh, Euro will reach at least 110 and 50. The pound 128 is really close by. And that mostly will be able to be reachable if we see that the dollar index continues to trade towards the 101. Now, if it breaks 101, then more, some panic might, might, might occur as it reaches 100. So that if, if that happens, let's say for example, if that happens today, that it just, you know, it trades and it drops towards below uh, the 101 and the 100 areas. We're gonna see a nice pop in gold, metals, currencies at least. All right, well, have a nice weekend. Merry Christmas, and I will see you next week.